Commander Cody, give me a status report on the men. Yes, sir. Captain Rex has just arrived with his legion. My 212th legion is standing by. Waxer and Boyle are in command of the back troopers. And Arc Trooper 5s and Echo are leading the Arc Troopers on the flank. Good man, Cody. Let's hope all this money that the Republic sinked into this base actually does something. Don't worry, sir. If the superbase fails, our clones won't. Right. Let's prepare the defenses. Dooku and Grievous are coming. Hey, what's going on, you bad Larrys? It's your boy, Daily Tactics, back with another Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod video. And today, we have a doozy of a battle. We've got another clone army super fortress, but this time around, this is probably the largest super fortress we've ever done in terms of fortifications for the clone army. So, we have two of these turbo laser cannons, we have an ATTE tank on the interior, we have two of these anti-infantry cannons which are super powerful, uh, we've got a ton of clone troopers scattered throughout this maze of a base inside, um, we've also got on the exterior two trench lines uh, with an AV cannon, uh, two mortars, one on each side, two of these E-Web turrets, one on each side, and uh, two of these anti-aircraft guns pointed towards the ground for extra effectiveness here. Um, then also in this little city over here, we have some guerrilla warfare uh, clone troopers who are going to be popping in and out of buildings and attacking uh, the droids from the side and things like that. Not to mention the commanders of the clone forces. So over here on this side entrance, we've got Arc Trooper 5's in Echo. In the very front of the battlefield, we have Commander Cody. And then back here on the interior uh, area over this way, we have Waxer and Boyle here. Then, finally, oh wait, Captain Rex is also somewhere around here. What the heck did I do with Captain Rex? Uh-oh. <laughs> I've lost Captain Rex. Um, well, I'll find him before the video begins. How about that? Because at the moment, uh, I'm... Oh, no, he's over here, isn't he? Isn't he? Help, Captain Rex? Where are you? All right, I've lost Captain Rex. I'll find him and let you guys know before the video begins. Um, but over here, we do have Obi-Wan Kenobi guarding the most important part of the battlefield. The Gonk Droid Army. Yes, isn't it glorious? Love the Gonk Droid Army. Doing their dance in sync. Lord Gonk would be pleased. So... Uh, these clones are going to be defending against this massive Separatist army. They've got a row of droidicas. They've got like seven AATs. They've got two super tanks. They've got dwarf spiders. They've got tri-droids. They've got oodles of infantry. And leading the frontal charge is Dooku himself. Then there's a flanking unit over here. Two flanking units. Then another, another few flanking units over here being led by General Grievous who have disembarked from this MTT. Then, in the very rear flank of the back entrance to the base, uh, a bunch of commando droids have jettisoned down to join in the attack. So, this will be massive. I'm sorry this intro was like three minutes long, uh, but I wanted to show you guys the battlefield before we begin. So, without further ado, I'll be right back and we'll get this thing started. Alright, I found Captain Rex. He's right here. He was being a sneaky boy. Alright, so, let's get a nice angle of this opening warfare bombardment. And, begin. All right, and pure chaos, instantly turbo laser cannons firing down onto the line of droidicas, super tanks firing back and actually taking out both of those. Uh, Tri-droid here, oh my goodness, almost immediately getting tanked down. ATTE firing off some shots at these AAT tanks, very nice. Buildings already getting destroyed in the hail of fire. Um, and droid infantry marching on forward. Oh, the AV cannons are down. So is the mortar and the E-Web turret. That's really bad. And uh, a bunch of clones dead too. There's only three left alive in that trench. Uh, this trench over here only has a few clones left alive and all of their uh, turrets and such are dead as well. Man, this ATTE tank has quickly been left alone as all of Cody's men have also died. Oh my goodness, this thing really needs to pick up the pace here of taking out some of these tanks. It's trying its hardest. I mean, it's taken out a bunch of them, but uh, it's on its own now for this frontal defense, which is real rough. Let's check in on the flanks over here. So over this way, uh, we've got droids launching an assault against these guerrilla warfare clones, and they've taken a few losses, actually, and the clones are slowing them down, which is a big bonus. 
uh, for the Republic right there. Let's check in on Grievous's troopers. And uh, Grievous's troopers have actually taken some losses down here. And uh, a serious amount. I'm actually seeing a lot of droid bodies over here. Well done. These ARC troopers and uh, 501st slash 212th troopers are really doing a number on these droids as they advance towards them with Grievous in pursuit as well. Uh, so good on these clones for uh, slowing down these droids and uh, keeping them at bay. It also looks like ARC Trooper 5s and Echoes troopers are uh, taking out a few droids themselves over here who dare to enter into their range of fire. ATTE, you still holding strong? It is indeed. Very nice. Oh, but this anti-infantry turret over here got blown to bits. Uh, this one's still alive, though, so this could be big uh, to have this thing alive for the coming battle. All right, checking in on commando droids over here. Looks like they took a lot of losses and didn't really... Oh, wow, okay. I was about to say, they didn't really manage to get a foothold, but they just absolutely yeeted some troopers in there and started firing down the line here at these clone troopers and catching a few kills here and there. So, good on these commando droids. They took the initiative there and really went in hot pursuit of these defending clone troopers. But the clones aren't done yet. They're not going to go down without a fight, and they are responding with fire of their own at the enemy droids, too. This LAT has been blown to smithereens as well. Captain Rex is uh, almost alone on his barricade over here. Only one trooper remains with him. Let's just retreat Captain Rex, because I want to see him through the end of the battle. So go join Obi-Wan over there. Get back, soldier. ATTE still holding its own over here, but against a lot of infantry now who are equipped with rockets, as well as looks like a couple surviving super tanks who could possibly still be alive back there. So the ATTE could be meeting a, uh, a quick demise here if it's uh, not careful. Here's Dooku himself actually running around this way, maybe chopping up some uh, clone troopers. Looks like General Grievous finally broke through this area and is now doing a full assault on Arc Trooper 5's and Echo. Uh, whose men are taking an absolute beating right now. Do we think maybe we could retreat Fives and Echo? Because I want to see these commanders in a last stand. So get back, retreat, retreat. All right, cool. None of their troopers made it, but they managed to uh, run back here to live and fight another day, which will be fun to see uh, them do a last stand if it comes to that. Either way, Battle Droid's actually coming around the flank here and getting on in here, though our Trooper Fives and Echo did do a pretty big number of damage on their, uh, their attackers, so props to them but it just wasn't enough to hold them off and now Grievous's troopers are getting into the base from the side and actually managing to get some shots off on the ATTE from the flank and the rear so uh, maybe that ATTE does end up going down here from the flankers and then the uh, men straight down the middle here could possibly uh, begin their assault from the front it actually doesn't seem to really be firing too much anymore maybe it's uh sort of paralyzed or something like that or their crew is concussed something like that commando droids over here coming very very far forward and getting a lot of clone kills they themselves are still taking losses though uh let's see are these some of these clones actually off to the side over here are still alive the commando droids haven't launched an attack over there quite yet uh but it looks like they're gathering around this way so they could be pretty soon while their uh friends over here do a main attack over this way Oh my goodness, this thing blew sky high. Crazy. Are these super tanks still alive, by the way? They are indeed, and so is this AAT. So if the droids get these unlodged from uh, the wreckage, the clones could be looking at disaster. ATT finally goes down in a cloud of dust and explosives. That's no bueno. Grievous's men likely had something to do with that, and they are also having something to do with all of these clones in the middle of the base going down from excessive force from these droids. All of these guys are dead. This is a shame. Also, some of these guys died. Maybe that some of the artillery hit them from the interior. Yeah, because these walls have actually sustained some damage, so that could be it. But there's still plenty of clones left alive over here to uh, combat Grievous' men that are coming on in here. I don't know. Is Grievous still alive? That's a good question. He could be out here somewhere. There's still quite a number of droids and such in these buildings and things like that. So he could still be alive. Dooku's troopers finally beginning to step foot into the front entrance of the base over here. Ooh! Super tank still launching some fire. Whew! Nebelwerfer incoming! All right, these clones back here are taking a beating. Obi-Wan and Captain Rex might have to defend the Gonk army all alone, but they will have Gonk's uh, support. 
Look at this guy. Half his body's in the wall. He got blown so hard, he flew into the wall. That's insane. These droids over here of Grievous's have sustained some serious damage. Uh, they are quite weakened, and they've paused their attack for the moment. If they could only, like, blow this LAT to the side, they'd have a clear shot at those guys while still under cover. Uh, but luckily for the clones, that LAT is still there, which is very good. However, now they're getting uh, attacked from two sides. This... Uh, little assault from Dooku over here, as well as Grievous' little assault. Dooku, still alive over this way. Looks like he came into this area and butchered a few clone troopers. There's just a helmet sitting there. That's depressing. Wow. Um, and there's still some clones over this way, too. Uh, guarding Arc Trooper 5's and Echo, who are chilling over here. Uh, though they have sustained some losses. Here, Dooku's going for an attack here, but he goes down. He wasn't able to deflect all of those blaster bullets at once. So down she goes uh oh super tank what on earth is the super tank doing oh look there's grievous what is grievous doing maybe they're trying to break through the wall here that's a weird move for the super tank it's going around the full flank of the force there all right commando droids how are they doing actually it looks like their assault has for the most part failed or at least been stemmied by the clone troopers as uh, they're not really doing too many attacks, and they've only got a few of them left. So these clones have definitely done a nice job against them. Look at this guy. Why aren't you shooting that commando droid? Very odd. I love the second Airborne. Second Airborne was... Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but it was the first uh, uh, Star Wars action figure I ever owned. Um, my dad got it for me. Um, right when uh, Star Wars Episode Three came out in theaters um yeah it, it's just the second airborne has a special place in my art i love it i always thought it was like the coolest armor ever for a clone trooper definitely one of my favorites of all time um yeah i loved him what was your guys first star wars action figure or star wars piece of merchandise if you ever bought any of that because i mean george lucas always did say he wasn't a movie creator he was a toy salesman um, although I think he was half joking when he says that. Though, <laughs> in college, they actually teach that to you as if it's, like, gospel and he had, like, no love for art or anything like that. It's hilarious. Actually, that's not true. Uh, I'm a comm major and I focus a lot on, uh, film studies and things like that. I'm a comm and history major. Um, but for my comm major, I take a lot of film classes and they're always saying, um, they're always talking about, you know, creativity and George Lucas and art before merchandise for a lot of directors and things like that you know talking about like Stanley Kubrick and things like that and um, you know there's an argument a huge argument that uh, George Lucas said that you know as a bit more of a joke um, but then you also take uh, I took a class called media and society which um, is all about commercialization and advertising and things like that um, and the teacher there basically, you know, was saying like, George Lucas was a toy salesman, salesman. He, there was no joke in that. It was absolutely true. Uh, and my thoughts on it are, you know, I stand in the middle somewhere. I think there's a, there's a balance to that. And, uh, you know, he definitely was a very savvy businessman, uh, in making all of these properties. And, you know, why do you think there are porgs or, um, you know, BB-8 with such a cutesy model and things like that in the latest Star Wars movies because they want to sell toys. It's a fact. But um, I think there's a middle ground between artists actually making cool designs and doing what they love and also, you know, appeasing the market and, um, you know, corporate and, you know, making some money. I think there's a middle ground there. Either way, clones still holding out against the oncoming battle droid army. Though the oncoming battle droid army has certainly lost its luster as this battle rages on. They've been experiencing fierce losses and really are seriously struggling to uh, keep up this attack. It's tough. This AAT is still alive, still moving around. Could come in this way. That would be really bad for the clones if it did. Grievous is just chilling over here. Grievous, why don't you get back in the battle here? You're just hugging this wall. AI glitch. I have no time for this nonsense. Get over there. 
Uh, these guys in the town, I won't move, though, because they're actually, like, making their way this way and just being slow about it. Grievous is just being a derp. And he's still not out. Come on, bud. Get in there. There you go. They'll move into the same position where their dead comrades started off in and probably die in that position, too. Dooku's troopers over here have been on a steady decline. They started off pretty strong, taking this area um, pretty nicely. But now, around this corner, they're getting wrecked by a lot of clone troopers. And uh, in the struggle bus... Commando droids have moved into this region over here. They've also still got a few forces over this way. And, uh, looks like the ones over here must have died. Oh, there's still one over here. Oh my god, the super tank's trying to get in here. Uh-oh, can it fit? That would be so bad if it came through the middle there. Clones would be donezo, but I don't think it fits. Which is good. This other one's still looking for a way around. Oh, there's actually more commando droids out this way, too. And that one just got run over. Two of them got run over by the super tank. All right. Turncoat super tank. <laughs> That's wild. Also, a lot of Dooku's men are just hugging the wall over there, too. Grievous, what's your game plan over here, bud? Doesn't seem like you really have one. Actually, I take that back. They're launching a bit of an assault here. Magna Guard's pushing out, along with droid infantry. Working on taking on some of these clone troopers, getting a good amount of shots off. Not sure if they're connecting enough, though. They, they seem to be missing a lot and not getting enough shots off in a rapid pace to get too many kills. Oh, that machine gunner crawled all the way around there only to die. He could have gotten so many kills if he had just hunkered down there and sprayed. That would have been so good. These commando droids could do a lot of damage if they swept around this way and started firing from the side, but it doesn't seem like they want to do that. Also, Dooku's troopers could support Grievous's by pushing out right now as Grievous is making this assault, but they don't seem to want to. Actually, Grievous' assault is doing better now. They're down to only four clone enemies here. Not bad. There are still some clones over this way, though, with Waxer and Boyle. Um, but I think these guys pose less of a threat than these guys right here at the moment. And these guys are going down. Two left. Oh, actually, there's one laying down here. I thought he was dead. Sorry, you were presumed dead. Hello. Okay, Grievous with the uh, the nice strats here. Well done, sir. Look at him go with his rifle. Grievous. Very nice. Oh, these droids have pushed out a little bit further. They're putting the squeeze on the clones. Look at this super tank being a derp. What about this one over here? This one's simultaneously being a derp. Where's the AAT? AAT kind of stopped on this corner here. Might be stuck. Well, it's up to the infantry now if those tanks aren't going to support. Oh, and General Grievous has gone down. The Mad General has bit the dust. The dust has been bit, chewed, and swallowed, and now he's died from asphyxiation. Rather morbid. <laughs> These uh, few clones are really survivors over here. I mean, they've they've suffered some onslaughts from commando droids and made it out to tell the tale. That that just shows you uh, what a good choke point can do for your army. Well done, sirs. Well done indeed. These guys were less lucky. They they felt the full wrath of the commando droids. Only two troopers remaining on these main fortifications. Luckily, Obi Wan and Rex still have some troopers left alive over here to protect the Gonk army. Still doing his dance. They will not be stopped. All right, we got a big assault over here from Grievous's surviving men coming this way towards Arc Trooper 5's and Echo's forces. Only one trooper remains on this block, but there's a couple backing him up back here, and then uh, about six or seven with 5's and Echo him, uh, themselves. There's also these troopers over here who have been putting up a pretty decent fight, getting a lot of kills in the process of this battle. Oh, I was going to check how many kills that guy had, but he died. Whoa, this guy's still alive. That's crazy. He's got eight kills. This guy's got none. This guy's got one. These guys... Oh, that guy has one. Um, yeah, most of the guys with high kill counts have probably died by now. Which is sad. Oh, Waxer and Boyle being attacked currently by some commando droids over here. Commando droids finally getting out of that rut and actually doing something. Looks like there's only four troopers left alive with Waxer and Boyle. That's no bueno. That guy finally dies, and so does his lying down comrade there. Droid army continuing to push in on the super fortress here. 
Things are looking rough. Commando Droid sprinting into Waxer and Boyle's position. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, no! One of the dynamic duo is down! Oh! We got this! No! Waxer and Boyle are down! Those two Commando Droids took them on. Took on four dudes and killed them all. It's nutty. Alright, our Trooper 5's and Echo, though, are still standing over here with some troopers. That's good. We can look at the minimap right now. So, blue are surviving pockets of clone resistance. Red are droids. I'd say the clones do have a chance at winning this. The Super Fortress may yet survive. Because the clones right now that are alive are alive because they hold extremely powerful choke points. And you should never underestimate the power of a choke point. Droids seem to be trying to decide where they should attack next. More commando droids coming in. Yeah, the lingerers are coming in. Super tanks patrolling around the outside. AAT tanks still chilling over there. If those things do enter into the battlefield, uh, that would be very, very bad. If they entered into the base itself, that would um, spell some serious trouble for the clones. That would be no good. No good at all. Here comes the AAT actually rounding the corner here now. Oh, we got grenading over here. These two clones survived. A second airborne and a water fountain boy. This could be the water fountain boy. This could just be water fountain boy. There's a there's some arc troopers on the field uh, still, but that I'm I'm saying this is water fountain boy. He was on the battlefield and he's been surviving with the second airborne trooper over here. One shot. He's got three kills. Way to go, water fountain boy, from Naboo. To here, and in his distant future after Order 66, he will be a member of Rico's staff. Water Fountain Boy is truly a legend. Let's see if he can resist capture during this battle. Here are a couple of shots over here. Clone Trooper engaging with some droids. He's braving it, man. He's still braving it. A pack of ten droids versus one clone. And he is doing it. Magna Guard's pushing in, though. Close range. And they managed to nick him in the shoulder there. And take him out. Alright, should we, uh... We'll just send one droid over here, because I don't think they know there's troopers over there for the clones. So this'll this will get their attention. And then uh, Arc Trooper 5's and Echo will do their best in taking these guys out. Yep, that got the droid's attention, and they start creeping their way this way. Alright. Obi Wan still chilling over here with Captain Rex. Oh, here we go. Droids attacking this area now. These two soldiers. Looks like we got a lieutenant. Two lieutenants, actually, in the same space. Or maybe these are sergeants. I can't remember. No, I think the visor means they're lieutenants. Both of them. They're probably friends. Just chilling. The lieutenant twins. Oh, Magna Guard pushing in. One of them chooses to grenade with, like, the worst grenade ever. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. One lieutenant goes down. The second gets grenaded. This droid actually went down. Oh, he's just unconscious. Couple of circuits knocked loose there. Let's see. Now we got a 212th captain with a. Uh... Oh, well, the captain's dead. Couple of 501st troopers holding this corner here. Taking out a good number of droids. Avenging their 212 captain. Keep watching that doorway, guys. Keep watching that doorway. That's a lot of them. Take out that grenade. Oh, buddy. Dang. All right. It's up to fives. Echo. And some clones. See if they can hold off these enemies. Here comes a guy. Guys. 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 No. Woo. He just headshotted that boy into oblivion. God dang. You guys gotta be a little bit more careful. No one else is getting attacked right now, right? Water Fountain Boy's cool. Obi-Wan and Rex are cool for the time being. It's just uh, Fives and Echo who are getting attacked. You guys need to pay attention to the doorway. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Close calls everywhere. 
You guys need to watch this doorway, not the corner. Guys, Commando Droid. God, you're making me nervous. Please. Oh my goodness, Magna Guard's coming in. You guys need to get some fire out. Come on, come on. Those were some... A lot of grenades. Grenade bombardment. Uh-oh. Enemy grenades coming in. Oh, uh, who's that? No, he's dead. Arc Trooper 5's and Echo are down for the count here. They did a nice little last stand there, but they got overwhelmed because they weren't watching the door. Oh, jeez, Louise. All right. Let's start egging these guys on to... Uh, let's do Water Fountain Boy's position next. And then after him, if the droids don't naturally progress this way, then we'll send them this way. It looks like uh, Obi-Wan and um, Rex actually do have an anti-infantry turret still at their disposal. That's super valuable at this time. Like, that thing is worth so much so much to these clones right now. It looks like the commando droids are, are heading this way. How many troops? I think I only ordered one trooper this way, so these guys are just moving on their own, I guess. Right? Unclear. Here comes the droid. Water Fountain Boy, you got this! Water Fountain Boy went for the grenade. What's up with these guys and going for grenades against troopers who are attacking them? It's foolhardy. Alright, looks like the rest of the Separatists might be heading their way now. We shall see. Yeah, they're taking their sweet time. This commando droid. Oh, no, nope, he's just chilling. Don't worry about him. Alright. What's going on here? Oh no! Wait, Commando Droid's in here! Whew! Oh my goodness! Wow, was not expecting that turnaround. Um, so I guess the second airborne trooper died, but Water Fountain Boy managed to kill the, the Commando Droids that were attacking them. These droids don't seem to want to attack at the moment. Let's try getting them towards Obi-Wan and maybe then the rest of the crew will attack with them. See if that works out. Hopefully it does. The Obi-Wan's still got a pretty tight position over here. He's actually got a lot of clones. Alright, here comes the droids. Boys, pay attention. Alright. Action commences. The turret is not in range. Or its view is blocked, rather. So nothing it can do at the moment. All right, so those droids were taken care of nicely. Will the rest of these droids uh, begin their attack here? Only time will tell. Ooh, who's this? Commando droid way out here actually tangoing with a few of these uh, clones from a very, very far distance, actually. Surprising, surprising stuff. Jeez. Oh, another droid taking the charge. Oh, and his friend's joining him. He's just sprinting, man. What? Why that tactic? I don't know. Alright, now we got some droids coming in in force here. And a couple of clones going down swiftly due to it. Oh, yeah. This is where the fun begins. Most of these clones are dead now, but the turret is still very much alive. That's important. Having this turret alive is key to this defense. And it's actually scraping some of these droids up. Well done. And let's not forget the infantry that is vital to this position as well. How many kills does this guy have? Two? Not bad. This guy? None. He's just sort of lying there. Turret's got four kills. Nice, nice, nice. How about Water Fountain Boy? Fountain Boy's got four. This guy's got none. This guy's got three. Nice. Oh, these guys, you guys got any? This guy's got one. This guy's got none. This guy's got none. This guy's got two. This guy's got one. This guy's got none. Rexy boy? Rexy boy's got one. These guys got none. Makes sense that they have none. Droid numbers have seriously dwindled. Let's get them into a final assault here on Lord Gonk's position. Lord Gonk army. This guy's stuck or something? What's going on here? Whoa. What in tarnation? Breaking apart the base. These guys are like stuck. They won't move. Weird. Alright, either way. Final droid attack coming on in here. E-Web turret doing a very nice job of taking out a lot of these droids. Droids responding with a lot of fire of their own though. 
but they're not being accurate enough to really get any of these kills. Look at them. They're just hitting these cover. That's no good. Alright, final attack. All or nothing, droids. All or nothing. You're going in. You're going in. I want these guys to go, too. Well, this guy will go. Why won't these guys go? These three units are glitched. Just delete them off the face of the earth with that turret. Alright. Last few droids here in this final attack against the clones. Yep. That's about right. Super Fortress! Alright, there's like six droids left. We're just gonna do all or nothing charge to this defensive position here. See if they can't kill a few of these clones. They're getting the shots off, but they're not connecting, and they all perish! Alright, so the clones ended up winning, um, but they're still super tanks. Um, and an AAT, actually. So I suppose the clones hold the interior, but the droids hold the exterior. So I, I could do another episode of this and do a trilogy if you guys wanted to see that. Let me know in the comment section below if you would like to do that. Um, if not, I can leave this as a one-off video. Either way, the Super Fortress, it was an extreme defense against an extreme amount of attackers. Like, the number of troopers that the droids had and the weaponry they had was amazing. Uh, and the fact that the clones managed to hold off against all of that was phenomenal. The Super Fortress is seriously an effective tool. Um, and if they had doubled their numbers, I doubt the droids would even make it into the fortress. But uh, they only had as many troopers that they had. And uh, as a result, uh, they lost a lot of men. And the droids did make it into the fortress. But the Lord Gonk army is left alive. Obi-Wan is alive. Captain Rex is alive. They're still kicking. Water Fountain Boy's chilling over here. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Comment and subscribe if you did. Um, also, be sure to check out my Instagram. Going for a thousand followers and we're so close. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.